Legendary Entertainment announced plans for the follow-up to this year's Hollywood Godzilla at San Diego Comic-Con. There's going to be plenty of returning faces for the project, scheduled to hit theatres December 16, 2016. While director Gareth Edwards couldn't make the event due to his commitments, working on Star Wars spin off he will be helming this next Godzilla. And on the kaiju front, Mothra, Rodan and Ghidorah will be joining the destruction in the sequel. Link's equipment from Legend of Zelda series was introduced to Monster Hunter 4 in Japan last year, but Capcom didn't provide any details on its inclusion in the Western release at the time. Now it's being confirmed for Monster Hunter 4 Ultimus, and you can see some of Link's cinch gear in the video. Capcom also teased more special equipment in the future, so stay tuned for even more awesome Monster Hunter 4 equipment. It's been a good weekend for Super Sonica fans who have the desire and funds for huge figures. The music mascot Stalker turned buddy Super Psycho, Good Smile Company is spelling her name with a K, is the subject of Freeing's latest one four scale bunny girl figure on sale now ahead of a January release. Super Puchaco bunny version, the chubby idol character Super Puchaco is joining Freeing's Bunny Girl figure collection in a special bunny outfit special, specially designed for the figure. Her plump body is packed full of dreams and hope for fans to dig into, but be sure to display her with the previous release Supersonica bunny version for even more impressive scene. And finally, it seems like Sword Art Online 2 Episode 4 has made quite an impression, with lots of English and Japanese speaking fans discussing Yoshigutsuki Matsuoku's Nakama performance as Gun Girl Online Kirito. So the timing is great for the sporting of Kenko's GGO Kiriko bedsheets with its head to Komaket 86 along with Kadokawa's Asuna and Sinon hug pillows. It's pretty rare that we are graced with official English releases of tokusatsu shows. Every now and then we get something niche like Kika Eide in Azuma Man, Kamen Rider version 3, or a subtitled Ultraman show. The fans of Henshin Heroes and Sentai action tip lean on, lean on fan subs or raw videos. Thus it was pleasant at San Diego Comic Con, surprised when Shout Factory announced plans to bring Kyoru Sentai Zuru Ranger, the Japanese basis for Saban's first season of Mighty Morphing Power Rangers. To DVD in North America. This marks the first uncut Super Sentai series to be released in the States. Here's the confirmation from Twitter. There are currently no release details, but announcement alone is enough reason for excitement. Zuru Ranger is fantastic, and in the hopeful not too distant future, a wide English audience will be able to marvel at Makoto Zoga's unforgettable performance as Bandora, aka Power Rangers villain Rita Repulsa. And that's all the anime news for today. Tune in next time for more news.